Hi students, now we are coming to the important discussion about a new 2020 which is held on a, will be held on July 27. It will be approximately 8 weeks will be have. Okay. So here I am going to discuss during the study what is the problems we are facing and how to overcome that and during the exam time what kind of thing we should have in order to score well so what are the main points we have to check it so these three topics we will discuss here okay first when you are discussing about uh, NEET 2020 okay it will be they are announced July 27 will be the exam but we still we have confusions okay we have confusion whether that exam will be have on date or still it will be postponed since uh, mains is postponed since they are not uh, alerted uh, at bit cards we think may it uh, uh, our uh, need also may be postponed okay so this is the first confusion we are having that okay but it is not in our hand okay the need test date is not in our hand and we no need to worry about that first keep that side whatever the date will be there we are going to write but it will be there we are going to write the test okay and how we are preparing for that before the test that will be important for us not a test date test date will be finally they announce and finally they will give the test so you avoid the confusions related to need date so keep that side first okay and the next one we are facing the problems regarding time management time management means especially i am coming to the chemistry part okay when i am coming to the chemistry part we have chemistry what will we have three major parts will be there one is the physical chemistry and another is organic and lastly what we have inorganic so these three are the physical organic and inorganic so as we know that when you are learning these lessons okay so we try to open the book and try to learn instead we think okay we will revise fastly but when your time is going on it will be take a lot of time to complete the lesson so we cannot able to con uh, cover other important lessons and uh, that will be happen here so in physical case in uh, what we have to make majorly focus key points and formula okay and some cases you have method you have to follow so how to do that let us one example you take so key points means how the key points will be helpful suppose if they are asking so what happens if you increase in the temperature on solubility of gases in liquid okay so increasing the temperature solubility will be decreases okay that point is the right key point for you and if they are asking a related formula related means they have given some uh, uh, Henry's law constant is given and uh, they are uh, asking number of moles of nitrogen gas dissolved in the substance and partial vapor pressure of nitrogen gas is given so in that case it is comes under formula based question and the next one method based question sometimes you have to uh, write that uh, steps to get the answers okay immediately by formula based you will not get like equilibrium questions so initial moles a giving rise to b some c will be given initially one mole one mole zero moles and one minus x one minus x and x moles like that we are doing that is the method uh, way we are doing so like three types of questions will be there okay so majorly all the questions are related to these things key points formula and which questions are method based you have to identify and try to solve that questions and by solving that questions you can get the ideas about the that uh, that lesson uh, briefly and uh, you will get the clarity how they are asking the question how to answer the questions okay next here how much is time i can spend for uh, any physical lesson is there okay so it is related to reading that lesson 
30 minutes to one hour to check the key points and uh, solve some similar examples. And suppose more you want to do, the more time it will be take, but minimum 30 minutes to one hour. Okay. So formulas you cross check and every formula related some questions you can check and revise it. And already you have faced any difficult problems, yes, underline and uh, that uh, carefully solve one more time and understand the idea. Okay. That is related to physical chemistry. Now we are coming to the organic part. Organic part will be having a, many things will be there. Okay. In GOC part, be clear with the inductive effect, hyperconjugation, resonance effect. These three things you have to have any particular arguments, try to remember it. And uh, how to apply this one, you can try to get the idea. This will be very useful while mechanism wise or uh, everywhere. And the next important things are named reactions. Each chapter, what are the named reactions are there? Make a list and the reactions go through with. Because this reaction means we have like a coal bale electrolysis. What is the coal bale electrolysis? What is the reactant, a reagent and product? Okay, carbon amine test. So what is the reactant, reagent and product? So like that we have to go. And if your name reaction, so what some important reagents and uh, important uh, will be yeah, like dehydroalogenation, alcoholic beverage, and uh, some uh, other dehydration, okay, concentrated stress of catalytic uh, means uh, Al2O3 heating, like so. Some catalyst reagents will be there, set up reagents that you have to go with. And after that, if NCRT base, any exceptions or key points are there that you have to go through. Like if you are taking uh, some example, uh, chloromethane, chloromethane, which is more dipole moment, chloromethane will have more dipole moment than chloromethane, that is given in NCRT, so that you have to care. And uh, uh, any other like similar points, any exceptions are there, you have to note it that part and you have to check. So GOC part and next uh, name and reactions reagents, NCRT based uh, exceptions and examples you have to go through to over uh, do well in an organic part. Okay. And here it will be required for a chapter maybe one to two hours you can spend for each chapter based on the lesson, based on the uh, chapter length and the uh, uh, important uh, time <coughs> timing wise. In organic part, when we have uh, reading, it will be takes a lot of time. Okay, some lessons it will be. But while reading, what are the key points? And uh, uh, already you have many times you read. You check once first uh, how the questions are asked from previously asked NCRT questions you asked. Then you will get one idea how to how they are asking in the exam the questions. Once you know that how they are asking the questions, then your way of reading in organic will be different. Will be different. So you are reading in organic is different and you are reading after knowing the question how they are asking is will be different. So your focus on points will be more uh, will become when you know the questions how they are asking. Okay. So that's why try to check the questions first which is uh, already you have read many times that uh, lesson. First you cross check the lesson and uh, uh, important uh, that uh, previous questions and uh, related to this one NCRT example and every question you can cross check. Based on that you can read, revise and any other important you felt uh, questions you can make it list. So like that it you go in the scenario and it looks comfortable. Okay. So here also it will be spending time. So minimum we require any group you are reading means it required one and a half hour to two hours. And you are reading any chapter means it required around two hours. You are revising, not reading fully. Okay, two hours how we can able to read. Not like that. We are revising. We are taking uh, small test and uh, weekend test, cumulative test and written some grand test. So we have idea. So which areas we are weak, you are identified. Which points you are not able to remember, note it. Okay, this is keep on asking in exam, but still I cannot manage this one. So note it that point. And, uh, arrange that points in a list okay or any points list already somebody arranged and they are giving you make a list uh, note down that okay 
so this is a time management part while reading you have to spend less on uh, our uh, physical part of it but you can spend on models examples questions related here here so solving questions basically three things what is the reactant the reagent what is the product okay to identify that how you can use that goc and the name of reactions and reagents and any ncrt examples okay in our next part check the questions and get the idea how we are solving the questions okay so this confusions time management over important chapters okay some people ask what is the important chapters to cover well we have many important chapters are there like you have combination periodic properties chemical bonding and uh, dndf and coordination chemistry coordination chemistry and uh, you have uh, goc and uh, hydrocarbons alcohols phenols ethers and carbonyl compounds and carboxylic acids and next we have you know physical part electrochemistry chemical kinetics equilibrium equilibrium we have atomic structure so we have and uh, these lessons so why you have some set up lessons like that out of that lessons you have maybe around 15 lessons are important you are felt up okay so these are important okay important lessons means either one sometimes two or three questions will may comes so that is a we are considering important lessons for the exam point of view so only we read this one okay maybe it will be comes uh, around uh, 25 to 30 questions also you cannot get your expected score because you are attempted 25 if 23 correct okay you will be below 100 only. and 30 if you have five questions wrong you are below 100 only so this is helpful to score well uh, when you have already read other lessons well. okay other lessons you have to read okay so you have to be like uh, should not be blind in that lessons okay you have to cover ncrt level and previous questions okay. and some important models but you failed sometimes in while doing a material you will get some important models that models you have to read okay so that is you should not be blind and you should not should read at least ncrt level and previous year questions and important models related to that chapter okay suppose i am doing hydrogen lesson okay hydrogen lesson i felt this is a little less important but in that you have to focus and purification of water hydrogen peroxide okay and heavy water and uh, like that some topics you take select it and the topic related how the questions are asked you cross check okay so like that we focus some areas very well and some other normally we know means we can if they are focused on uh, like hydrogen peroxide directly question i can answer directly okay so i am not no need to read a full lesson thoroughly uh, first some important lessons that topics I read and the remaining go through normally means i may cover that one in this way so both like this important lessons and the other lessons also we are covering we will get like maybe 35 to 40 we can able to attend okay you are 30 correct or you are 35 correct you will be 100 plus and it is based on the question paper it will be decided it is like 35 to 40 or you are 40 plus attempt that is decide on that day your mindset and how you are attempting the questions and how much you are precisely and accurately doing the questions so it depends but here the minimum score will be 100 will become here minimum score will be less than 100 will become so don't avoid the lessons so make sure that you cover lessons well okay that is the important chapter wise and then next one is related to focus so we have less times how much time only eight weeks so these eight weeks are if they are postponed or anything one or two weeks increasing also like 10 weeks or eight weeks but in that this is for you it is a free time very 
please your time so you have to focus you avoid the distractions okay you are focusing is needs to means you are uh, getting distracted so once you are distracted your goal will be get proper so you are this uh, to uh, until your exam you focus on what you are doing okay and don't divert any thing uh, from your studies okay so that focus should be required okay so finally who will achieve the better score and better results who are focused in the right time and right way so that is the important thing about the focus okay back uh, backlog lessons we always uh, keep some lessons back so like i not read uh, some solution lesson some hydrogen lesson s block lesson okay so like i have five set five lessons are there i'm not prepared that lesson or not uh, go through that lessons very well i'm not con uh, confident on that lessons so still i have to complete that lesson that type of lessons will be concerned the backlog lessons backlog lessons will be your five lessons will give five questions or six questions so 20 marks 20 marks around you will lose if you have easy questions coming from that okay so why should we have to lose marks okay if you know also we cannot able to score if you don't know means definitely we did not able to score that's why don't keep any backlog lesson backlog lessons is there grand test one you keep one lesson backlog lesson in priority and you keep some uh, time and try to complete briefly that you no need to do 100 percent like that but what is the important in that how the questions are asking what is the important ncrt questions and which areas are important that focus it and uh, try to do related that one still you are doing like that means uh, keep on doing like that we will get a better idea related to which one that lessons even five six questions are coming even three four questions you are doing also it is good like instead of keeping back sometimes we read uh, some lessons very well but the like you are doing very well uh, one lesson like atomic structure okay that question that time is very difficult but you have left one lesson solution but they are simply asking related to one factor of conductivity or simple questions asking so you can easily answer what you learned uh, difficult lesson that may or may not be answered but what you learned uh, normally also may you may answer so that is a backlog so this is the next important thing so avoid confusions manage your time well keep important lessons in mind but other lessons don't avoid focus still exam is over and backlog lessons cover one by one in each grand test and uh, next one once we have studied then we will go to the examination hall and we try to write the exam so in this part first you avoid any kind of stress is there means keep outside and uh, don't avoid uh, don't uh, lose your confidence go to the examination hall your purpose of going examination hall is to score well not to get stressed or not to do well like that uh, no then you have to score well that is your primary intention so for that purpose you have to be relaxed more and uh, you should be go and see the question you have only one thing will be there in during the exam hall question will be there you will read the question after reading question what you will get some idea you will get some key points are uh, our formula our method you understand and uh, you will relate it these key points or formula or uh, that method to the question and you will try to solve that questions and you will get some answer and you will check with the options okay anywhere if the option is uh, uh, not present means cross check how you have solved that okay and after that uh, checking is over then you can answer the question okay checking the question okay you answer checking uh, answer before giving the answer is important because it will be help to uh, uh, score well because you will not lose a uh, negative okay you will not uh, get a negative score you will get a uh, avoid a negative score from this part by checking the questions okay and uh, question 
One more time read if they are asking incorrect or correct, right or wrong, true or false, not true, not false. So like that you have to cross check and give the answers because that will be very important. Okay. And during the examination time, time management will be 100% important. Okay. So you have very, very good in knowledge, but still you are 45 questions are there. You attempted 30 and came out and you are 25, 26 correct. That will be like useless. Okay. For uh, if you're not getting the seat with that marks. So that's why you are managing the time is very important. You are kept, suppose chemistry, you are kept 50 minutes means you manage your time. So divide first theoretical part, which are theoretical part is there, inorganic, organic. So maintain some around 30 questions will be there. 30 questions you attempt in 25 minutes because it is the theoretical, maybe 30 minutes. So you 30 questions you are completed, okay, so that you will get some confidence. Then 15 questions are there, you are doing 10 or 10 plus. Each one you are taking two minutes also, you will require time will be managed. So based on that, you can plan. Time management is important in the examination. And plan your uh, uh, question paper. So which is organic, which is inorganic, which is a physical, which is physical case, which is theoretical, which is uh, problematic, which is lengthy and which is easy. So that time only you have to plan. And according to that, you have to exam, uh, uh, you have to attempt to score. Finally, everyone reading, everyone uh, try to get the score. So I read, I am doing, but I am not getting the score means only thing I can suggest are two things. You have to attempt maximum number of questions. First, you attempt 30 questions and you can expect in 120 plus means it is uh, difficult. Okay. Attempt maximum questions. Okay, you are expecting 80% means you have to attempt 90%. Okay, you are expecting 60% means you have to attempt 75%, 70% minimum. But 70% attempted, 70% you want to get also difficult. So attempt maximum questions to first. And second and very important one, what you attempted must be correct because you are attempting one question. That is means you know that some idea about that question and you are uh, applying your knowledge to answer the question. So try to uh, what get maximum answer should be correct related to that uh, particular uh, question. So to in that way we will attempting maximum questions and we are avoiding the mistakes. So two things we are doing automatically we will get score well. Okay. So this is my idea about this uh, which one need uh, 2020 preparation planning okay so all the best and do it